In his first national TV address since North Korea's deadly attack against its southern neighbor, South Korean President Lee Myung-bak sounded defiant. I'll make sure North Korea will pay the price in the event of future provocations. We're now aware that it's hard to expect North Korea to abandon its military adventurism and nuclear ambition. But Lee also expressed a degree of contrition. I'm standing here feeling responsible thoroughly as the president for failing to protect lives and the property of our people. Over on Yonpyong Island, which bore the brunt of the worst North Korean shelling in about half a century, one of the remaining residents urged Lee to take tough action. I wish I can do something, but practically I cannot do anything. So I would like our president to retaliate harshly against North Korea. The attack took them almost completely by surprise. Despite living on the North's doorstep, they had come to believe the worst of the 20th century's hostilities were behind them. But tensions on the Korean peninsula have steadily grown in recent months. Joint US-South Korean naval exercises off the west coast near the disputed maritime border between the two Koreas are heating things up even more. And Sunday's leak of classified U.S. documents by online whistleblower WikiLeaks showed the U.S. and South Korea discussing possible scenarios for the reunification of the peninsula. For its part, North Korea has repeatedly promised that Tuesday's attack might be just a taste of things to come if it's provoked further. Azhar Sukri, Al Jazeera.